Nicely done. Dr. Kessler, I presume? An honor to meet you. You've made a courageous decision. One day even your own country will thank you. I'm not doing this for my country. Or are yours. The crowds will be swarming all over this place. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, Sean, I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. What happened? Our flight home has been cancelled. We'll need to stash Kessler somewhere in the city. At least until we figure out a way to get him out of the country. I know a place. I'll drive. before the crowds realize our boy wasn't on that train. We estimate it will take the better part of a week to sift through the wreckage and identify the bodies. We'll be gone by then. I'm afraid that is impossible. I'm not going anywhere. I was out Maria. Excuse me? My daughter, General Eckhart, is holding her somewhere in Paris. He said he would let her go free once I had finished building his instruments of death. When he learns what has happened, he'll kill her. I'm sorry, Dr. Kessler. Your daughter was not part of the deal. I'll look into it once you're safely out of the country. This is not a negotiation. Without Maria, the deal is off. I will slit my own wrists before I build bombs for your government. Jesus, keep your knickers on, Doc. If your girl is here, we'll find her. So where is it that we're headed? I'll give you a hint. How do you like your steak? <laughs> Bloody, of course. Are you asking me to dinner? You always did have awful timing. Maybe later. But first we'll knock up a friend of mine. He can help us with Dr. Kessler. And your friend is a chef? I gather he fancies himself quite a renaissance man. I can't speak for his cooking, but he does live in a slaughterhouse. You keep peculiar company, Devlin. Perhaps it's time you found a better class of friends. <laughs> oh, I tried, believe me. But the class of folks will have nothing to do with me. Okay, Doc. We're almost there.
You know better than to bring strangers here. Friends. They need a place to lay low for a few days. This is not an hotel. Nor a brothel. Oh, feeling a touch homesick, are we, darling? Ah, an English aristocrat. Does your father know you are here, girl? I expect he's too busy buggering the chambermaids. We Sinclairs are always up for a bit of rough. I'll vouch for her. And where are you? I'd mind me manners. She's got friends. I'm not the sort you want to cross. What does that mean? Do I have to fucking spell it out for you? She's a British agent. Why have you come here? You rubbed the lamp, Monsieur Godin. And voila! Here I am to grant your heart's desires. You know who I am. <laughs> Of course. We know all about you. I've even read your awful books. My superiors in London are your biggest fans, Luke. They'd like to offer you their help. What kind of help? Oh, guns, medicine, radio equipment, whatever you require. In exchange for your cooperation in certain covert operations. Ah, please excuse my poor hospitality, Lady Sinclair. Come, join us for a glass of wine. It seems we have much to discuss. We should go see what's bothering Veronique. She cannot be trusted. Who? Skylar? I won't argue with that. I never understood what you see in her. Look, Skylar and I... Well, it's complicated. Is this really what you wanted to talk about? No, of course not. Our friend Ryman has been listening in on German wire traffic. He tells me the whole city is buzzing about some scientist who went missing after some train accident. You don't say? It's time you told me what you've gotten yourself into. It's safer if you don't know. Do you not trust me? I, and I need you to trust me. How goes the revolution? We've got something special coming up. Something big. Might as well tell me now. You Frenchies never could keep a secret. Not yet. Soon. First, we gather our strength. I need to meet some friends of ours south of the river. We're going to need transit papers. And you want me to pay a visit to the Spaniard? <laughs> you have a business arrangement, no? Aye. But I can't say I trust the bastard. Go see Santos, my friend. Find me once you have the papers. Tell your bosses they don't need to lose any sleep over that Nazi chemical plant. Are you certain the target has been neutralized? By the time the crowds finish picking up the pieces, this war will be long over. Right then, I must admit, I've half a mind to refund the old man's ten quid. Would you like to shove another boot up Jerry's arse? It's good work if you can get it. The Jerry's have established a rocket base at Chateau Chambord. Aerial photos show long-range ballistic rockets and several advanced power generation units. London has authorized direct action. Gloves off. Anything goes on this one. Nice day for a drive in the country. I'll head down to Chambord and take in some local color.
Joint, gunfire! Send your friends.
Now we're talking.
Yeah, yeah, yeah.